You know, guys, it's almost like a broken record. It seems day after day I get on these video reports when Brian Rosica has a play the previous day telling you the following day that he did it again. But listen, we got to give credit where credit is due. Rosica joined this site back on February 5th. And this is a guy that was a former line maker at one of the biggest offshore sports books in the world that's based out of Costa Rica. He did it for a little over a year, then decided to leave. Returned to Las Vegas. I was introduced to him by Anthony Red. Added him to the site on February 5th. And since February 5th, he has gone 24 and 7 with a $10 better, winning over $12,000. Yesterday, did it again. 100 dime plays. He's had five of them since his debut. Now, 500 dime releases since February 5th. And he's won them all handily. Yesterday, another 100 dime winner, 5 and 0 with them now. St. Louis, four and a half favorite over Butler, winning by 11 in a game which Billikens really coasted in that contest. It was even a bigger blowout than that final margin uh, really revealed it to be. Today, going for overall winner number 19 out of 23 over the past four weeks. And it's his third ever 80 dime release. And guess what, guys? He's won the first two of them as well. Third ever 80 dime release. It's Old Miss and Florida in your SEC championship game. It goes at 1 o'clock Eastern time. He just had an 80 dime winner, you may recall, on, um, let's see, Thursday night. It was one of the late games out in the West Coast Conference. It was uh, Cal Irvine easily over Hawaii. My God, that game, I'll never forget. I turned that game on, and it was 22 to 5 early in the first half. And at times, you know, Cal Irvine was up by 20-plus points in that game. They rolled. His first 80-dimer was two Sundays ago when Michigan State covered at Michigan in a one-point loss, catching four and a half. Third ever 80-dimer goes today. And to frame it a little more for you, this play is even bigger than a 75-dime winner on Friday with St. Louis over NC Charlotte. Again, overall winner number 19 out of 23 just in the past four weeks for a guy who's made $10 betters over $12,000 since February 5th. Now, another big play today, wrapped into your Sunday promotion, Jeff Benton had his first, very first, 100-dime max wager release two days ago, and he scored. And I know it because I was on the wrong side of the damn game. Syracuse, the one-and-a-half-point underdog in overtime on Friday night against Georgetown in the Big East Tournament. Today, 100 dime college winner number 10 out of 11. It's your ACC championship game between North Carolina and Miami and Florida. Once again, 100 dime winner number 10 out of 11. Eight and one with 100 dime plays last season, including uh, that little game with Kentucky over Kansas for the national title last April 1st, and then hit his first one on Friday night. Second one this season, number 10 out of 11 overall goes today. And just like on Friday, when I let you get the Syracuse play for half price, you can get Jeff's play today, half price. 100 dime winner, number 10 out of 11, half price, simply by using this coupon code. And that code is going to be Benton100, Benton100. That will get you his play today for half price, only 40 <laughs> you know, every now and then, guys, I forget what the hell I'm doing in these. This is what happens when you do these videos in the middle of the morning. You forget what the hell's going on sometimes. <laughs> anyway, you will get it for half price, $44.50. Trust me, I had to hurry up and look at the site and do the math again going, am I doing this right? $44.50. That's what you will get. Jeff Benton's play for today. Once again, half price using the coupon code Benton100. Uh, Benton has made college basketball ten dollar betters uh, sixty nine hundred and twenty dollars over the past two and a half seasons. Quick congratulations going out to Scott Delaney. He cashed in with his fifty time uh, winner on Saturday with uh, St. Louis over Butler. Uh, ten dollar betters up sixty eight hundred dollars. Uh, the past three and a half months following Scott's advice. Uh, on the downside, Chris Jordan did not win his fourth consecutive 600-star release as he was on UNLV last night, as was I as well. And uh, Craig Davis missed his 40-dime play on Weber State last night against Montana. But Jesus, you know how hot Craig Davis has been for the past, geez, since November. Um, so if that's the only negative I can tell you about him, that's it. Uh, Trace Adams also had a... Uh, 2,000 star W wager winner number two in a row in three out of four, and that failed yesterday as Indiana did not get the job done against Wisconsin. 
And you know, that leads into today's free picks, guys. It is amazing how you look in some of these college rivalries, how, you know, the personnel changes, the coaching staffs may change, the calendar keeps flipping the years, but one team dominates another. You saw it yesterday. Wisconsin just has Indiana's number, okay? Matter of fact, I saw Trace Adams come out with that play, and I thought, Jesus Christ, you know, <laughs> I mean, the Badgers have to go on this floor today, and I'm thinking, they know they own the Hoosiers, and they did again. Another game, Kansas and Kansas State. Jayhawks just own the Wildcats. It's a fact of life. I mean, they own them. And that leads to, in a way, my two free selections here today. Um, the first one is going to be actually in the NBA. We'll go in a reverse chronological order. I'm going to go to the NBA, where the Houston Rockets right now are um, a half game behind the Warriors for the sixth seed in the Western Conference playoffs. Okay, Not that the sixth seed means a hell of a lot of difference versus the number seven seed. <laughs> yeah, you think I'm I'm joking around here, guys. I mean, really, do you really want to play the what right now would be maybe the Spurs or the Thunder? Maybe you'd like to drop down, you know, or advance to that sixth seed and maybe take on the Clippers instead, okay? They're, so it's advantageous to finish at least sixth in uh, the Western Conference. Here's the deal. The Rockets have just bludgeoned the Warriors this year, and they have owned this series. Not only are they 3-0 and in... Uh, this year's meetings, but I think they've won 17 of the last 19 meetings overall. So they're a seven and a half point favorite at home today. Why not take them? I mean, what I was really impressed with the Rockets is that on Friday against Minnesota, you see a final score of 108 to 100. But this team was down by 20 points in the third quarter. But then James Harden, who was not at 100% health going into that contest, just went off 25 of his 37 points in the second half of that game. The Warriors haven't had an answer for Harden all season long in losing three straight against the Rockets. They haven't had an answer against their uh, against Jeremy Lin, who's averaged 24 points in three games against them this year. They haven't had an answer for Chandler Parsons, who's averaged 21 points against them in three games this year. You know, the Rockets are 22-9 and nine at home. I believe the uh, Warriors are either 15-19 and 19 or 15-20 and 20 on the road this season. They were just destroyed by the Chicago Bulls in their last game on Friday night. And and don't be deceived by that final score. It says 113-95. to 95. They were down by as many as 36 points in that game against a Bulls team that's been struggling offensively for weeks. So I say, let the Rockets continue their uh, stranglehold in that series and go ahead and lay the 7.5 points at home with Houston here. Because as we've seen, uh, Houston is a team with a lot of interchangeable parts, a lot of offense coming off the bench in all ways, shapes, and manner, and they're a better rebounding team anyway than the Warriors as well. Your other pick is going to be in the ACC title game. Now, North Carolina had owned this series, absolutely owned this series, coming into uh, this year's two meetings, winning 18 of the previous 20 games. What happened this year, though? This is a Miami team that's a veteran, senior-laden team with a new head coach who takes no prisoners. And the Hurricanes have played with such maturity and such strength in sweeping the Tar Heels this year and with such tremendous accuracy from three-point land. Uh, they won 68-59 to in Chapel Hill this year. They won 87-61 to in Miami in this year's two regular season meetings in the home game. 15 three-pointers. Shane Larkin has been great so far in the tournament. Not that Miami has played that strong. You listen, Boston College coming off its opening game uh, win uh, where they went crazy against Georgia Tech gave them a good battle for most of that contest on Friday, but they did eventually win that game, 69-58. Uh, and then they took care of business against a suddenly hot NC State team and a talented NC State team, 81-71 yesterday. Here's the thing with North Carolina. Tar Heels turned their season around when Roy Williams decided to go ahead and put P.J. Hairston into the starting lineup. In fact, uh, they won eight of their final nine games with him in the lineup, eight and two overall with him in the lineup. The first game was actually a loss to Duke at the time. And Hairston has bumped up his scoring average by almost six points a game in that stretch. He has uh, given them a consistent scoring option, really leading the team offensively. The problem is they're a small team. Miami is not a small team. Miami is an excellent defensive team, and Miami has size. Miami is going to control the boards. It's going to give them uh, uh, plenty of second-chance opportunities, and it's going to allow them to cover the three points. So although, in this case, North Carolina had won 18 of the 20 match matchups prior to going 0-2 this year, 
we're not going with the trend with one team holding the other by the you know what's and instead we'll go the other way and we'll lay the three points with Miami and this game is funny you know you can find Miami down to two and a half you can even find them some places two in this contest I say three go ahead and lay it I think Miami very good foul shooting team as well I think Miami will eventually pull away and win this game somewhere by seven or eight points so those are your two free selections you know what to do with Jeff Benton in terms of getting his play today for half price Benton 100 is that coupon code and best of luck to you guys and I will catch you again uh, Somewhat bright, but not too early, hopefully, on Monday.